Enlightenment. What is enlightenment? What is self-realization? Why is this important to our lives? And can we achieve this? Can we realize who it is that we truly are? And if so, does it take us lifetimes? Or can we achieve it in this life? And if so, what's the quickest way? What's the most genuine way to self-realization? And why truly do we need it? What's the importance? What's the biggest benefit of enlightenment to our lives? Or does it come with no benefits and it's simply the eradication of desiring any benefits whatsoever? Is it instant? Is it gradual? Is it permanent? Is it temporary? Is it a practice or is it something that happens through grace? Many are the questions surrounding the topic of enlightenment. So let's start with an experiential glimpse of enlightenment, of awakening, of self-realization. Nobody can explain this to us, but we can point to it so that we can take our consciousness in the right direction, put it in the right vibratory state for it to be receptive enough to recognize the simplicity and the obviousness and the immediacy of the light of all that there is that's already shining through your eyes as we speak. So take a moment Take a deep breath and take a moment to relax all thinking. Now the first thought you have might be, that's impossible, but you know it's not. Just do it. Just stop thinking for even one to two seconds. Give away all your ideas. Ideas can cause tension, especially when they're out of alignment with spirit, with your soul, with the truth of creation. And most of our ideas are out of alignment with the truth of who we truly are. So for a moment, just drop all ideas, all thoughts, and just be here with me. Be present. And notice in this moment of relaxed awareness that you are in fact, aware. Now notice how everything you've ever experienced, including this moment now, you only know as a direct perception of awareness, as a direct experience inside of consciousness. If you're honest with yourself, you can see that you've never had an experience that did not occur in and due to and as that which is aware. Another way of seeing that or sensing that is to ask yourself, what is it that is aware of this video? What is that? What is that indescribable quality of cognizance, of awakeness, of awareness? of knowing. Knowingness without ideas, without knowledge, without any type of knowledge in your mind, you still know that you exist. There's an awareness of the presence of this moment. Now in this course we'll go in depth and we'll discover the nature of presence and how to access it. We'll discover the nature of awareness itself and how to access that very easily on a day-to-day -day basis until it becomes your normal experience. It already is, is the secret, but we'll see exactly how that works and how this can become a living reality to you. And we'll even dive into one of the later uh, sections of this course, we'll dive into the non-duality or inseparability between that which knows and the appearances or experiences that are known. Now this is quite a mysterious realization, but when pointed to skillfully, the audience, you in this case, can realize what is pointed to. And when you realize the nature of inseparability between that which is aware and the experiences of this world, the appearances of this illusion, you will gain a sense of experiential oneness that will positively make your sense of self transparent to the greater self for as long as you live and beyond. And in my opinion, enlightenment definitely is, for most people, largely a gradual process. And so even in my own life today, every single day, this realization deepens itself. And I guarantee you that if you apply these techniques 
or rather pointers, and you have these realizations, and they start to blossom in your being, in your consciousness, that if you look back upon your sense of self, say half a year from now, you look back upon your life, say half a year from now, you will find that your sense of self, your sense of who you are, is completely transformed, or you could even say dissolved. So a lot of our tension in everyday life comes from these ideas that we hold on to, these belief systems that we hold on to that are not really who we are. They limit our being. They enclose, confine our consciousness. And again, in this course, I want to get to the bottom of this and I want to, for once and for all, so to speak, lay out a path very succinctly, very precisely, that will allow you to go through these steps experientially and realize not only that you are already awake, perfect, and enlightened, that you are in fact already free of suffering, even when you seem to still suffer. But also, I want you to gain this experiential, devotional sense of love and connection and oneness with all of existence through the realization of non-duality or inseparability or oneness so that you can feel at one with the one infinite creator, if you want to use that word. You can feel at one with all of creation. And you can feel the power and the freedom and the abundance and the support that comes through this being that you seem to be, that you seem to carry with you on a day-to-day -day basis. You can allow the forces of creation to operate through you efficiently and beautifully and purely and with integrity because you are now becoming more and more an empty channel simply because you have learned to recognize that you are always already aware and you've learned to recognize the nuances of that to such an extent that you are now having a somewhat permanent experience direct experience of your true self and at this stage you can start to branch out into teachings such as empowerment because if all we know is the empowerment side of teachings, the self-actualization side, but we don't really understand, we, we haven't really experientially covered the basics of the self-realization side, then we will go about our business, we will go about our law of attracting, we will go about our meditations and our sense of empowerment, and we will enjoy it. But inevitably, we will run into traps. Traps of mind, traps of illusion, traps of identity, traps of rigidity, traps of feeling separate and lost and abandoned. And so this, as some teachers call it perhaps, the egoic self, or as I call it sometimes, the ego effect, because it's not a self, it's only an effect. Put water and sunshine together and you get a rainbow. Remove one of the ingredients, the rainbow disappears. It does not actually exist. The ego does not actually exist. It is an effect. It is a practiced effect. Now, if we take away some of the elements that make up that effect, the illusion starts to dissolve. And what shines forth is this radiant, bright sense of expansive, free agency, free awareness. And we start to feel transcendent. And our worries and concerns and struggles and suffering start to soften and soften and soften, sometimes gradually and sometimes in quantum leaps, where we feel drastically different from one moment to the next, where we had a realization that was so new and so fresh and offered us such a more expanded angle of creation that for at least for some time to come, we feel truly connected to the greater self, truly connected to, call it source, call it God, call it life itself, call it awareness. And so I want you to directly experience this for yourself. And I want to touch upon some of the nuances without it getting too intellectual. So throughout this five-week study course, you will find that again and again and again, I will bring it back to the direct experience, practicing the direct experience of enlightenment together as a community. So my intention for this course, as a teacher, as a guide, as a pointer, as a reminder, as a friend on the path, on the journey, one who has struggled with this for many years, one who has sought intensely for this clarity of enlightenment. My intention to deliver is sort of a definitive experience, a definitive course that covers all of it in the most simple, effective way possible, yet without skipping any crucial stones. And so I invite you to join me into this direct experience of who you truly are.
Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you at the course.